tools and components for using the 8 through 16 inch taper scarf tool including crescent wrench, allen wrench, mandrels, end plates, and the tool itself. First, make sure the cutting head is adjusted properly to the size of the pipe you will taper or scarf. Here you have 8 inch through 16 inch settings. To adjust the head, you must first loosen the thumb screws. Loosen the two set screws. Remove the cutting head, being careful not to damage the cutting blade. To adjust for the correct pipe size, loosen and remove this Allen head bolt. Remove the cutting head holder and place it in the appropriate slot for the pipe size you are tapering. Align this block into this slot. Tighten the Allen head screw. Make sure you tighten the Allen head bolt very tight. Reinstall the cutting head, aligning the top edge of the cutting head with the cutting head holder. Tighten the Allen head screws to hold it in place. The tool is now ready for tapering the pipe. Be sure the tool is set to the proper taper angle. One degree for 8 inch to 16 inch pipe, or zero degrees for marine offshore 8 to 12 inch pipe, and secondary containment products. First, remove the jam nut. Next, attach an end plate with the tapered side facing away from the tool. Then, add the spacers and mandrels alternating between each. Move the shaft up to attach the jam nut, hand tighten, and you're ready to insert the tool into the pipe. Install the cutting insert blade into the cutting head insert holder, installing with the wide side of the insert facing out. Tighten the Allen head screws to hold it in place. Be sure the insert is installed. The insert holder is very similar in appearance to the cutting insert blade. Put the factory taper gauge onto the mandrel as a guide to adjust the tool setting to factory dimensions. Tighten the mandrels with a mandrel nut. Advance the cutting head over the factory taper. Loosen the thumb screws and turn the feed knob to move the cutting head down until it makes light contact with the factory taper. Tighten the thumb screws at the bottom of the cutting head insert. Loosen the mandrels and remove the gauge. You are now ready to make the taper. Now we'll measure the factory insertion depth. Next, insert the tool into the plain end pipe. Then tighten the mandrel. Support the tool as mandrels are being tightened to ensure that the tool is centered in the pipe. This is very important. If the tool is not centered correctly, the tool may cut off center, resulting in a thick, thin condition. Insert the motor and engage the locking pin on the motor. Connect the cable between the tool and the control box. Make sure the switch is in the off position and connect power to the box. With motor speed starting at zero, turn the tool at a slow speed until the cutting insert is cutting 360 degrees around the pipe. Turn the speed to the max position.
Allow the cutting head to run out until minimum contact is made with the pipe. Remove the tool and measure the insertion. Compare the field insertion with the factory insertion. The field insertion should be plus or minus one quarter inch of the factory insertion.